than a girl with a gun Who loves the outdoors and was born to run Ain't nothing better than a girl that hunts She chases her dreams and knows what she wants God love them, God bless them Let's ride girl, go get them This whole life is an open road Walk about a mile to where to go So let it walk, let it walk You gotta take the shot or you never know I are in the South Island of New Zealand with Dodsey's hunting experience here, we will be hunting free-range tar and chamois. We're in the South Island of New Zealand near Mount Cook, and we're here with Dodsey's Hunting, and we have Croc Adams and Barry Dodds. Such an honor to be here, really excited. We've got some great scenery for you. Um, this is going to be my first tar hunt, and I'm really excited about it. We didn't know what to expect. Uh, tar are free range, and we had about a three hour drive out into a different area, different mountainside, different uh, climate. It was, I would say, 20 or 30 degrees colder. We've got three bull tars up on this mountainside. I was having a really hard time spotting them. <laughs> They're really hard to see. Um, just gonna sit down and talk and see if we can make a plan of attack how we want to approach them. There's a lot of hiking on this trip, so we're going to get our workout on. It's hard to say what they're going to do, but they might drift out yep. of this grass. Yeah. So it might be like if we hung out, hung back here, and you, you went over closer. Yeah. Got into that scrub there. Yeah. And just play that creek bed and just... Yeah, wait for them to drift in there. Sneaking out and trying to stalk them, there was, there was nothing. We drove in closer through the creek, and I would say about 745 yards, we stopped down in the creek that we've been stalking in. Okay, get behind the bush. And we're about 580 yards right now. That's good. It's grazing again. We would move all in unison as quickly as we could, and then as soon as he put his head up, we'd stop, and we kind of got the giggles a little bit, like, what in the hell are we doing? There's no way that we're gonna do this. Just Barry, because we never experienced that. You usually- You have a bush, something. Yeah, there's something that's, that you're hiding behind. <laughs> Barry looked back and said, pretend you're a sheep, <laughs> and <laughs> we thought it was great. trying to be as quiet as possible, moved in on um, what rock I swear was just put there for me, and I was able to get a really sturdy rest. Jen Adams is a country girl, with her cowboy boots plowing through the unknown the Spitfire pistol of the Guns duo. She's loud, rowdy, fearless, and the life of the party. But don't let her fool you. She has the business sense of girls with guns. She can chomp the numbers as good as she does her chew. She is the first to lead the team out of a plane, off of a bridge, or any leap of faith that comes their way. Nerissa Harmon, she is the mama of the group, the sensitive one who appreciates the beauty of life. She's had to fight for everything she's ever had, and because of that, her character is as strong as Oak. Though a little more reserved, she is still the creative heart of the Girls With Guns duo. She will be the first to question anything outside of her comfort zone, but don't get her wrong. Her faith is strong, and she too, with a little convincing, steps out into the wild journey. Emmanuel Cap, better known as Cappy, has had many hunting excursions all over the world, filming nature and culture. Cappy is the experienced leader of the ladies. He is a wild spirit and full of humor, just waiting for the next opportunity to make everyone laugh out in the field. He's patient enough to wait for the girls while they put their makeup on, strong enough to guide them through the unknown, and creative enough to capture unique beauty in everything behind a lens. Together, they are Universal Huntress. I moved in on what rock I swear was just put there for me and I was able to get a really sturdy rest. I'm a 
against him. Well, I've never shot my gun that far. I was solid. And I was in the top of the main, but I, I just don't know the drop on those animals. At 334 yards, my gun will drop 10 or 12 inches. Yeah, you're right. Sound a good hit. It did sound did good. You, see, you hit it too? Yeah. Yeah. Take it slow. I haven't done a lot of long distance shooting and definitely nothing that extreme uphill at that angle. We're climbing up to the top. Gotta catch my breath. We were down at that second rock, the big rock back that you can see straight back there. And I just ranged it. I've got about another 70 yards to climb. It was 334 yards. Never shot that far uphill and with the drop in my gun, I'm not 100% certain, but I felt good. And, um. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 40 yards off from where I'd shot him. He was down in the bush and all of a sudden, halfway up that hike, I got a second uh, wind and just was taken off up the hillside as fast as I could. I was so excited because I'd never had accomplished that. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my God. We did good. Nice. <laughs> Look at Sean. Well, you <laughs> yeah, thank well you. Oh well my gosh. Done. Nice bow. He's Look. beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Good shot. He came down. I just wasn't Perfect. sure because I've never shot my gun that far. It was uphill. I knew it had drop. A very, very good shot. It was. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, well done. Yeah. That was a magic <laughs> shot. You did very well to shoot uphill like that, and you've never done it before. Never. We had a big ask of you, but I knew you could do it. <laughs> it was awesome. I have never done anything like that. It was just so cool watching them and yeah. I mean the whole stock, everything was amazing. Yeah. And it's so beautiful up here. We couldn't ask for more. Isn't it? So it's a magic spot. Yeah. He's got a beautiful cape on him too, isn't he? Beautiful. That's what you're after. Yes, I love him. Yeah. And then we had uh, Croc's dog Ruby who helped yeah. with the finding him because yeah. he ran off. I wasn't sure when I looked through the scope, um, but I know that you guys said you heard heard the shot and it was good, and Ruby was able to run out there and find yeah. find him. <laughs> we knew you'd hit him, but we're we're in a cagey spot here. But the dog found him; it was good. Ruby, yeah. Ruby, come here. Come here. Come on, get on camera. Show everybody how cute you are. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> Aww. Uh, we're heading west. <laughs> we're going to see if we can find a chamois. We're going to go high and look at a bit of scenery and uh, see what happens. Of course, I was in the hot seat is what we always call it. Today, we are going chamois hunting. Chamois? Chamois. 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 <laughs> chamois hunting. Nerissa's chamois hunt was definitely one of the most challenging hunts that we went on while in New Zealand. I'm getting loaded and ready. We didn't really know what to expect as we haven't experienced this before. So we decided to take a little stop real fast and check out this view this morning and kind of run in a little bit late, but can't help but resist these beautiful views. This is a free range area, the top of the mountain. There's probably 20,000 acres of uh, free range, uh, but it's very steep. So when we get to the top, you'll, you'll get a better view of things and see what's going on. We drove uphill on the Polaris, um, such beautiful scenery. If you haven't seen these views before in New Zealand, it's definitely should be on your bucket list. One of mine and Nurse's favorite pastimes is to sit on a hilltop and glass the ridge looking for animals. So it's a pretty quiet morning. We haven't really seen any chamois, so we're gonna head to the top but we've had a nice look over these ridges and heard a couple roars, which is always really exciting. So we're gonna head on out. So it's starting to get a little bit warmer. We've uh, shed some layers and as you see over here, um, the fog is kind of going away. So now we're gonna take a little hike and show you guys a little bit more of the scenery. I can't wait for you guys to see it all.
So down below, I just spotted something. We're having a little bit of a hard time. It's about 1,100 yards is what we just ranged him. Can't quite see it. We need to see if he will lift his head up, but we think he's either a red deer or a chamois. So before we go in, we're trying to see if he'll turn straight on and lift his head a little bit. So it's a heck of a spot. We hiked in for several hours and came upon the face of a mountain where her chamois was set down on a rock. The hillside was very treacherous and both of us had slipped several times walking down to it. When I got ready to shoot my chamois, of course, there wasn't a really good position that I had. It was downhill as well. I'm not really familiar with shooting downrange. Straight down at it. Straight at it. Don't go up for anything. Because it's lying out the other way. You're going to have to hit it right in the middle of the back. Oh. Okay, right in the middle of the back. Okay. Which is not back there. Shoulder. 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 It was a little bit frustrating. I was trying to get a good rest and I wasn't confident in myself. I, I should have got my shooting sticks. Yeah, work, give them to me. We realized that, you know, she didn't really have a good angle from where she was at. I just kind of ended up tuning everybody out. I don't know really what happened. Um, I haven't really experienced that before. And uh, I just got in this zone. I was trying to get my set, my guns on my shooting sticks. I was trying to get in my sight just to try to see the animal. And uh, it was kind of an uncomfortable position. Okay. Wait till he turns sideways. Give him another one, and you got him. Give him another one. I can't find it. Don't play. Just sideways, straight down at him. Oh, you wee beauty. <laughs> well done. You guys, that was awesome. That was a beauty. <laughs> Do you go? Do you go? That was awesome. <laughs> that is tough work. That was a tough shot. It was such a great feeling. I, I mean, I'll, I'll always remember that. Oh, hold on, I just gotta take that one in. <laughs> Thank you. Now we gotta go get it and climb back up. Careful. We're with Dottie's hunting, <laughs> and uh, we have my beautiful chamois that we got here. I have to say the terrain is like no other here in New Zealand. Um, it's free range, mm. and uh, you certainly work for it today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Actually, you did quite the hiking to go retrieve my chamois. I appreciate that yeah. so much, and uh, it was quite the shot. Um, we were downrange and um, about 235? 235, yeah. 235. There was two of them there. Yeah. And uh, the other one was a, was a bit smaller, so uh, everybody yeah. wants a buck when they come to New Zealand. And yeah. this was the buck. It's not a monster, but it's a buck. And, it's, a, uh, it's a beautiful It was a animal. good hunt. Yeah, good hunt. Mm -hmm. Shot downrange and, um, you know, just to to know that I wasn't really secure on that shot. I didn't feel really mm. good about it, but I actually got the job done. I'm really proud of myself. And um, it's, it's, it's like no other. I mean, this is a free range, beautiful roaming animal to see mm. it in the wild. And you know, this morning we kind of didn't really see too much happening. Yeah. And then this afternoon, uh, Barry spotted uh, these two little boogers. Mm. Now we have to hike back up that, that mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Well worth it. Well worth it. Thank you yeah. so much. I appreciate yeah. that. This is boot camp. This is crazy. We're going to be showing you the different camera work. Nurse and I are going to be learning with you because we don't have any experience with this. Behind me is the town of Lake Hawea, as, where, as well as our time-lapse camera. This camera is set over an hour's time to take one photo per second. 
And those photos will play out for our viewers in just a matter of seconds. It shows the movement of the fog and the clouds in the mountains. What did you get me into? Bungee jump at AJ Hackett's in New Zealand. I've actually done this jump before and I'm really excited. I'm dragging Narissa with me this time. Can you see the excitement? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I should go do the swing. I feel really dizzy. I feel really nauseous. <laughs> my mouth is like cotton mouth. I can't even barely swallow. I feel, oh God. The bridge just shake? Yeah, they just jumped. Oh. I'm gonna do tandem with her so that we can get through this fear. This is just one more thing on the bucket list. As soon as the guys switch over to the heavy side, we'll get you harnessed up. Oh God, the bridge is going. <laughs> I'm trying to have my zen moments right now. Gravity means when one person goes, you're both going. So okay, so, so this little rope is supposed to hold me. This is plan B. Don't worry about it, okay? Plan A is at your own cause. This is only plan B. Okay. You don't want to know what plan C is. It involves going for a swim. Okay? <laughs> so, what are you going to do, hon? You're going to hop around here. How are you doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> just watching Narissa getting strapped up. Just a little nervous. And I'll have you as well. Okay. And now it's time for me to go in. So excited. Love this. We went skydiving in South Africa for the show, and we got her to do that. So I said, if you did that, you have to do this in New Zealand. <laughs> so once we get out there, we're going to take a few photographs. There's cameras everywhere, big smiles. When we're out there, then we're going to focus on the bridge ahead of us. That's your target. Okay. okay? Line that up. Three, two, one, lean forward, little push out together. Okay. As you start to go down, you'll see the river coming. Left hand up, chin down, you Wait. might just get a little touch okay, of the river out, or you'll be real close, okay? My heart is racing like crazy. Um, I feel like I'm gonna pee my pants. So stupid. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. It's totally safe. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> okay, together. What we're going to do is just stand up. With an American flag. I don't even want to look. Stand up. Put your arm around each other's waist now. That's it. Okay. Come out a little bit more. Okay, can you just guide me? Because yeah. I can't see. A little bit more. Are your eyes closed? No. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me when. Tell me Stop when. there for us, girls. Now, that camera up in front of us. Give it a big smile. Woo! And if you look way over the smiley face, give it a big smile over there. Woo. Now we're gonna get those two right on the edge. Okay. Help me, help me. Help me. Right, help me. Tell me, am I there yet? You're there, you're good. Okay, wait. Perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, what I want you to do now is just wait, take a couple on. of deep breaths. Wait, wait, I can't hold on to you yet. Take a couple of deep breaths. Okay. Okay, focusing up on that. Are we ready? So when I can't find. Four, three, two, one, go, girl! Woohoo! That's right! Okay, I'm giving you a glass. How's that? That's good. So I did it! I jumped! It was amazing. Um, I have to say that initial free fall. That was hard. Just getting to the edge um, was a little bit hard, but of course I had my sister that was next to me and uh, she was holding on to me and just getting over the edge, it was just, oh, I couldn't even explain it. And then when we actually jumped the free fall, that feeling, I almost felt like I was gonna pass out for a second. And that then, was awesome. And then when I was hearing Jen, I was screaming and she was like, I'm so proud of you! <laughs> and just, oh my God, and just hearing her kind of like talk me through it, like she always does. I love you uh -huh. and thanks for 
always helping me and Love you. putting me out of my comfort zone. It's, <laughs> that's what this uh, whole journey is really all about. Absolutely. And, um, you know, if you're scared and you think that you can't do something, you really can. And if you have an awesome, you know, friend and business partner uh, that pushes you, it, it's it's pretty awesome to be able to do these things with you. So I'm a little bit emotional. <laughs> that was crazy. That's that was why so I just, like I can't even believe I did that. So. No. And it's really bad when the lady next to me called you Nervous Nancy. Alright, Kina, pop you in here, okay? I don't know what happened. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Of course, now the battery is flat, Whoopsie. and we're stuck in the middle of um, somewhere in New oh, yeah. Zealand. 